we will try and put it on the air. Well, hey, we are getting insight into our local economic woes. The 13th annual Southern Colorado Economic Forum took place recently. What did it reveal? Well, Mike Boyd with the Colorado Springs Business Journal is here with the answer for us. It's a story that is in today's edition of the Journal. Good morning. Good morning. Who attended this forum? Uh, lots of business leaders, uh, academics, folks throughout town, uh, everybody who's really concerned about the economy. That's a lot of people, too. A lot Everyone of people. wants to know what's going on. So one of the things I know they touched upon was our military prisons here, and if it's really making a, a difference in helping us uh, economically. Uh, it is helping us. It's uh, something that cushions us. Uh, Fred Crowley from UCCS uh, gave an overview of the economy and what to expect during the next 12 months. And uh, he said that the military accounts for about one dollar in every five that oh. uh, is circulated locally. So. Yeah. That is a pretty good uh, impact. All right, so that's good news for us. What about uh, unemployment here in the county? How do we compare to the national average? Uh, we're below the national average. National average is about 10%, mm -hmm. uh, a little less than that. We're at about 7.5%. So we're doing better uh, than, than uh, others, yeah. Uh, yeah, than some folks in the country. How about job losses? What have we seen locally? Are there certain industries that we've seen a, a lot more job losses than others? Uh, we have, uh, and those are uh, really technology and manufacturing. Uh, since 2000, we've lost about 17,000 hmm. high-paying jobs. Those are always the jobs that you know make the news and headlines too, because they're typically the jobs uh, that the, the, the businesses that bring in jobs to a certain community. So. Uh, th uh, they are the businesses that bring in jobs. They're normally higher-paying jobs mm -hmm. and service sector jobs. So. Uh, we really need to uh, try to focus on uh, trying to get some manufacturing going and uh, uh, some tech uh, companies in. And uh, even, those, even though those are volatile jobs, if we could get them here and we could make it work, then it's really going to help us locally. Are we seeing improvements anywhere? Uh, we're not really seeing a whole lot of not improvement, uh, especially in the retail sector. Uh, as we know, uh, the city gets most of its revenue from uh, sales tax. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of retailers who have moved uh, out into the county, uh, to Monument, to Falcon, uh, down to Fountain. Uh, we've lost a lot of sales tax revenue there. Uh, and uh, one of the things that didn't bode so well that uh, Fred talked about was a lot of people are planning on doing their holiday shopping either online or outside Colorado Springs. And this is where we count on that revenue. And that's where we count on that so revenue. So he has a message, right? He's been telling people. He's got a message. <laughs> Shop in Colorado Springs. Spend your money locally. Uh, it's going to help all of us. Yeah. All right. Well, we thank you for that update. You can read more on the story in today's edition of the Colorado Springs Business Journal.